On this week's edition of the Appalachian Update, controversy strikes as a religious speaker comes to campus. The Appalachian Swing Dance Club explored dance moves in the 1920s. And we'll highlight a few of Appalachian's amazing clubs and organizations. All this and more here on the Appalachian Update. Thanks for joining us today on the Appalachian Update, your weekly rundown of what's going on around campus provided by your student-run newspaper, The Appalachian. My name is Natalie Broom. And I'm Annie Jones. Protests began on Tuesday, February 13th as an on-campus Christian group hosted a controversial speaker in the Plymouth Student Union. Dr. Michael Brown, a conservative activist, came to speak on his views of homosexuality, feminism, and other topics at the dismay of many marginalized students on campus. The protests started in Stanford Mall, where students hoped to speak out and raise awareness of the realities of marginalized communities. Around 7 a.m. Wednesday morning, campus officials were alerted to a gas leak near Legends Nightclub. The leak occurred after a car rolled into the propane tank behind the nightclub. Officials shut down the area surrounding the nightclub to allow for repairs. Emergency personnel responded and were able to stop the leak within about 40 minutes. And now for your arts and entertainment. Campus Cursive is the campus chapter of a larger organization called The World Needs More Love Letters. Founded in 2015, the club uses anonymous words of affirmation to promote love to complete strangers. The events put on by the club range from labels on coffee cups to anonymous love letters hung on the trees of Sanford. The club meets every other Monday at 6.15 p.m. in Beacon Heights in the Plymouth Student Union. Established in 1899, the Appalachian State Fencing Club is the oldest club sport on campus. The club is open to anyone with an interest in fencing, irrelevant of one's background or level of skill. Even members who have never fenced before have the ability to learn and even compete in competitions against other collegiate fencing teams. The Appalachian Swing Dance Club brings together the historical flavor of Harlem and California in the 1920s and 30s, allowing members of the Appalachian area to foster a connected community built around the intimacy of dance. The club meets every Monday for West Coast Swing and Wednesday for Lindy Hop in the Varsity Gym Lobby from 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. The 10th Annual Fiddlers Convention was held in the Student Union on Saturday, February 10th. Our own reporter Faith Hatton visited the convention to learn more. Let's check it out. We're here at the 10th Annual Fiddle Convention where music, food, and dance are all in full swing. Banjos, guitars, and fiddles all came out to play last Saturday, February 10th at the Appalachian Old Time Fiddlers Convention. The convention, which is completely run and funded by Appalachian State students, offers a platform for local-born performers to play the music of the mountains. Also featured in this year's convention, a handmade market offering an array of products that are wearable, washable, and even edible. A Taste of Appalachian was also a popular attraction, offering visiting guests the chance to taste good old-fashioned Appalachian recipes, including buckwheat pancakes, smoked hog jaw, and spoon bread. The Fiddler's Convention is an annual event, so if you miss it this time around, you're welcome to attend next year. This event marks the 10th anniversary for the Fiddler's Convention, and we're looking forward to 10 more. Reporting for Appalachian Update, I'm Faith Hatton. Now here's Jamie Patel with your sports stories. Men's basketball finished their three-game road trip with an emphatic victory over Coastal Carolina, winning 81-66. App State guard Ron Shard Shabazz scored his 500 points of the season and will try to add to his tally when the Mountaineers face South Alabama on February 15th. Tip-off is set for 7.30 p.m. Softball obtained their first win of the season against Moorhead State after falling to the University of Buffalo. The Mountaineers are led by new head coach Shelley Horner, who joined App State in June 2017, following a stint at Georgia Tech. They responded to a tough 2-5 loss to Buffalo with an emphatic 15-8 victory against Moorhead State. Men's soccer signed 10 new players from across the country and an international player last week. Manager Jason O'Keefe has secured some elite players from top club programs including North Carolina FC Youth and Works Up Town in England. Men's tennis defeated Xavier in Richmond, Virginia with singles play leading the charge on their way to victory. Brothers Scott and Ben Webster both held their own in singles play and were pivotal in the Mountaineers' 4-2 win. Thanks, Jamie. Now let's take a look at the week ahead. Valborg Theatre is hosting the play Well, created by Tony Award-winning playwright Lisa Cron. Well will run from the 21st to the 24th at 7 p.m. and again on Sunday the 25th at 2 p.m. Mardi Gras Madness kicks off on the 23rd with the theme DJ dance party at Legends from 9 to 1 in the morning. Advanced and student tickets will be $5 and $7 for everyone else. 
All profits will be donated to the Plots and Gardens Project. That's all we have for you this week. For more news and to read full stories, visit us online at theappalachianonline.com or pick up our newspaper every Thursday. Thanks again for joining us on the Appalachian Update. Until next time, I'm Natalie Broom. I'm Annie Jones. And I'm Jamie Patel. We'll see you next week.